Morning folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out for a crisp winter morning on the water. They say that everything eats a prawn. It's an old saying that we all love to use. And for me, the last 12 months, the Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns has rapidly become a favorite in my kit. It's a very versatile plastic to fish. We can fish it in a lot of different areas for a lot of different species. And as they say, everything eats a prawn. So today we're out here, I'm, I'm gonna show you a few different ways that I rig the prawns for fishing it in different areas for different species. So buckle up, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna kick off with one of my favorite presentations with the prawns for fishing deeper drains, deeper edges, and those sorts of things. And that's a quarter ounce 1.0 TT Demons with that 2.5 inch prawns. I've gone for a green head and I've gone for a blood oil color in the prawns. It's, you know, early morning and we're getting for that nice dark silhouette. And we've also got that UV characteristics of that oil plastic to capture that morning sun and, and get that UV pop. So this is a good one for weed edges, you know, dirty water, dark water, but also early, in, early morning, late arvo and fishing deeper. See if we can find one. Yep, fish on. Just hopping that prawn off that edge there. Nice little bit of a drain coming out. Drains are always good for holding a fish. I call them bait funnels. Just might put the net under this guy. Yeah, prawns, where do you find prawns? You find prawns up in drains, on edges, round weeds, so that's where we throw them. Not a big fish, but he'd be a legal flatty. Yeah, so that's a legal, legal flatty. Just coming out of the mouth of a drain on that prawn. So basically, I'm just gonna work my way along this edge and up into this drain that I'm fishing here. And it, it actually drops pretty quickly into fairly deep water. So we've got two, three meters of water in here. So that's where I like this quarter ounce in a 1.0 with that 2.5 inch prawns. I can get it down there quick. I can throw a long cast. I can cover plenty of water and uh, hopefully we find ourselves a, a fish or two along the edge here. It's a good presentation whether you're fishing, you know, channel edges, drains, drop-offs, deeper structure, that quarter ounce gets that thing down there. And then we can just hop it, shake it, twitch it around, give it that bit of movement to inspire the fish to strike. So I tend to fish the prawn, say, less aggressively in the hop than a, a paddle tail or a curl tail, so that it looks a, a bit more natural. All right, so when you are retrieving the prawns, I like to make it imitate the, the kick of a prawn. So you can just give it a one, two, three sort of flick and then stop. Let it hit the bottom again, watch your line. One, two, three, wind the slack. And that's one way that you can fish it. There's no point just slow rolling this plastic because it doesn't have a lot of built-in action like a paddle tail or a curl tail. So you want to be giving it the action. So one, two, three, pause it wind up the slack, let it get back to the bottom. The way I like to retrieve it, I like to flick and wind at the same time. So I'll give it a few winds of the handle while I'm flicking the rod tip. So it takes a little bit of, little bit of getting used to it. It's like the pat your head, rub your tummy, whatever thing. So flick and wind, stop. And that way we can, our line is already tight. So we can flick, 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 flick as we wind, stop watch it get to the bottom and we're waiting for that tick, we're waiting for that bite. So we don't have that gap in between the flicks and the winding because we're doing it at the same time. Flicking, winding, stop, watch it sink, watch for that tick in the line when the fish eats it. We'll get it out there again. Go out a little wider this time just so we're covering clean water. So generally I like to fan the cast around so we're covering the whole area. And so by giving it that wind three or so winds while you're flicking it. You're really keeping the tension on the line a lot of the time. Pause, I can watch my line, boom, back on the bottom. And hopefully somewhere along that retrieve while we're doing that wind and stop and pause, we see that magic tick set the hook fish on. Yep, yep, there we go. There we go, so we're just hopping that back again. That feels a bit better, feels like a bit better fish that one. Hop, hop off that edge. In the mouth of a drain here, plenty of bait. This thing's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, that was a nice take. 
when you're hopping it, you just want to be hop, hop, and be ready for a clunk as that lure drops back down again, because you'll often get hit on the drop and when you pause it. This thing's got a bit of go. Get that net ready for him. Oh yeah, it's a solid fish. Coming out of that mouth of that drain. We're just gonna bring the fish into the net. Yep, there we go. That's a bit better fish, that one. So we had that nice little legal guy to kick things off. This one's a little bit bigger. That's a bit better fish. So that fish is probably getting up into the low 50s on that prawns. Quarter ounce, I like a quarter ounce for this sort of fishing because we're prospecting sort of from almost right on the edge down to three meters. So that weight ahead I love as a prospecting head. I can get the rod tip up and fish it a bit quicker down those shallow sections and then I can let it get down and hit that you know, two meter, three meter, even deeper than that and get guys like this that are sitting on those deeper edges. So that's a, that's a decent flatty. Flicking that prawns on the two to four kilo gear for what I'm doing for this sort of fishing. So that's a great all round estuary combo for this type of fishing. So that's two to four kilo, two piece TT red belly, 2500 same RHD, eight pound Pulse X8 braid in white and I've got a 10 pound leader. The reason I fish a 10 pound leader is these guys have got raspy mouths. So that once they get that head shake going, they can chew through your leader pretty quickly. So even when I'm chasing pan size flatties like that guy, I like to run a 10 pound leader because you never know that big one could be just on the next cast. Fish on. All right, we've got a couple of legal flatties in quick time up fishing those deeper edges with that quarter ounce 1.0 on that 2.5 inch prawns. Now you can see we've moved out into an area here where the water is coming in. So the tide's creeping in up over these yabby beds. So we're going to match the hatch. Fish will be up here hunting for yabbies. So we're going to change our presentation to represent those key strike triggers of a yabby. So we've got our legs and, and movement and that sort of look of a yabby. And we've also got this bright orange head, which represents that orange of the yabby. So the fish are just gonna see the movement, the profile, the orange, that's a yabby, I'm gonna eat it. So we're gonna match the hatch and try and stir a couple of fish up on this guy here. So this is a one sixth ounce in a size one in a TT Nedlocks jig head and our two and a half inch prawns in a Houdini color, which is a really beautiful, natural looking sort of yabby -y color. So this Ned rig will sit straight up like that on the bottom. And we're basically just gonna hop it, twitch it, shuffle it, drag it along the bottom and it'll stand back up naturally like that, like a strike trigger for the fish. So that's our yabby presentation. Let's get ourselves a fish on the yabby flats. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that yabby presentation. No, oh, he doesn't feel real big. Yabby presentation hopped up over that yabby flat. All sorts of species love to eat a yabby. So we're imitating that yabby with the color and also the look of our plastic. So just a little Trev, but great fun on light gear, on the one to three kilo gear now for throwing that Ned rig. And that's our one sixth ounce orange head with our Houdini color in the prawn. Just a little handful of Trev, good fun. I picked up that little Houdini prawns again. Doesn't feel like a big fish. These little guys have been up eating the yabbies, I think, on the yabby bank today. Whoa, monster! <laughs> oh, definitely an effective presentation over the yabby beds. Unfortunately, the little blokes are all over it today. We've caught a couple of small brim and a few small flatties on this Houdini color with this orange Nedlock. So, Definitely a weapon over the yabby beds and can produce the big fish, but little fellas all over it today. All right, there's another one on that yabby imitation. We're representing that yabby with our Houdini two and a half inch Z-Man prawns and that Nedlock's head. So that's the one sixth ounce in a number one hook. So it fits that shrimps beautifully and it gives us all those strike triggers that we're looking for in a yabby representation. So we're matching the hats up on the yabby banks. Oh, he's fired up this little guy. Winter time, these flathead get pretty cranky. Up on the flats and 
You know, these guys are up here, the tide comes up, they can't get at those yabbies when the tide's down. So when that tide comes up, they want to get up here and they want to eat these yabbies. Oh, that's a nice fish in the net. Have a look at that, a nice heavy winter flatty on that. TT Nedlocks 161 and that two and a half inch Houdini prawns. Pinned beautifully on that hook there. That's a mustard heavy duty black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it's a brutally strong hook, which allows you to use that Nedlocks jig head to chase larger species, even with that small hook size. So there we go. That's a beautiful pan size sort of flatty up in the mid forties, eating that presentation that we were fishing basically across the yabby beds to imitate those yabbies. And these guys, they love coming up out of the deeper water and up onto those shallow flats to feed when that tides up on those yabby beds. So if you haven't tried that prawns, that's a good one to give a go if you've got yabby beds in your area, that Houdini color, 2.5 inch prawns, orange head to give it that pop, give it that yabby orange on the flats there. So that's a nice one on our second presentation. We're gonna change it up again. The water's getting up over the weed bed, so we're gonna roll up to some weed and show you another presentation that's deadly when that water gets up higher and it's right up over the weed. Let's get into them. The third presentation that I like to have in my kit is a very natural looking presentation for when the water gets up over the weed, especially in winter time, the water's very clear. And this is proven deadly on a bunch of species, including brim, flathead, tailor, grunter, all sorts of fish have eaten this. It's the opening night color in a two and a half inch prawns, which is a beautiful natural looking color with that bit of fleck in there that really catches the light. And I pair it up with a black head and people have said to me, why do you want to put a black head with that natural plastic? Well, for me, one of the key things that you'll see on a prawn when you look at a prawn is it's big eyes, black eyes. So we've got our natural looking prawn with those black eyes and that's a, that's a black UV. And I, I think that it, you know, rather than putting the popping orange colors or the, the more standout colors on here, that just keeps it really natural as a presentation. So two and a half inch prawns opening night on that black head and we're down to a one eighth ounce in a one oh. So a one or a one oh is fine. And I like that one eighth ounce. I can still punch a decent cast, but because we're fishing up over the weed, we don't want it just plummeting into the weed. We want to be able to keep it up, get that slow fall and stir up a few brims and brim and things. So we'll get that up over the flats and we'll give it a run. Okay, we've just positioned ourselves along the edge of the weed flat here and I've got the wind behind me. So we're actually pushing with the wind and that'll allow me a big long cast with this one eighth ounce head. So retrieve wise, I'll generally punch a big long cast with this guy and it's a lighter head on there. So I'll just give it a few twitches and I'll let it slowly sink down over the weed. So I'm not getting it down into the weed, I'm fishing it above the weed. If you see a sandy patch or two, you can pick those and let that plastic get right down to the bottom. Otherwise, I keep it moving. So I'll fish it fairly quick at times and I'll just mix up that retrieve with a few pauses and that sort of thing and allow it to slow fall. So it looks very natural like a prawn that's working over the weed and brim and other species just smash it. So long cast again, just that twitch and wind, give it a stop, twitch and wind. And we're just watching that line for a tick in the line or for that rod to just load as a fish eats it. Nice twitchy retrieve. If, you, if you're not on the twitch and wind thing, you can just give it a few flicks, give it a pause, wind up the slack, few flicks, and that'll catch them as well. Oh, there we go. That didn't take us long up on the flat. Not a monster, but we're fished up over the weed with this lighter jig head. But because we're in less than a meter of water, we'll pick up flathead as well in amongst the brim. So this is a legal flatty on that one eighth ounce black headlocks finesse painted head. That's the UV black on that opening night colored prawn. So that's a illegal flatty, a nice chunky little flatty. Picked it up over the top of the weed. So with that retrieve, we're just flicking it over the top of the weed into the sand pockets, allow it to fall into the sand pockets. And yeah, pick up a variety of species on that opening night color. It's a beautiful color for fishing that winter clear water conditions. All right, so that little flatty came out of a, a weed pocket there. just allowing the, that plastic to fall down into the weed pocket and then flatty picked it up. 
He's chewed up the leader on that one, so I've just grabbed the other rod and I'll um, see if I can turn this one into a brim maybe just to mix it up. The prawns is a great thing. Everything eats the prawns. So you do not know what you're going to get next on the flats here fishing over the weed. We've got giant trevally, golden trevally, grunter, tailor, flathead, brim, whiting. Most things will eat a prawn twitched over the top of the weed. And they love coming up here to feed on the weed when the tide comes in because it's full of crabs and all sorts of creatures and the bait gets up here as well to try and hide as well as the prawns so we'll just keep twitching this guy around we'll see if we can get one more to finish off the session all right we've just come across the weed and up onto the edge of the sand here those edges where the weed meet the sand are perfect because fish will hunt along those edges what do we got here brimbo i think this time's eating the prawn so as we said everything eats a prawn They'll account for a good mixed bag of fish. He's not a big fish, but there you go, a flatty and a brim in quick time, fishing over the top of the weed flats with that one eighth ounce in a 1.0, in that black head with that 2.5 inch prawns and in opening night. So a brim and a flatty, those prawns are a versatile option. As you've seen today, we've fished three different rigs in three different environments and we've caught fish in all of those different environments. So if you haven't sussed that prawns out, Make sure you check out the prawns on tacklecomau and there's a few different rigging options there for you as well so you can get out and get into the fish in those different environments that we like to fish. Fish on.